Hi, welcome. Uh, I am Akhileshwari. In this video, let us see how to connect to a web URL from the Power BI desktop. I have considered one sample URL, uh, which, will, which is a Microsoft's website, which will give a list of top paid games and their cost and their details. Let me copy this URL so that I can use it in my Power BI desktop. And again, data, we can see here the option web to which we can give the URL. If you're not seeing option here, you can click on the more. It will navigate us to a window where all the data sources names will be listed down. Under other, you can see the web. I'm just double clicking or you can click on the connect button. And I'm selecting the basic radio button and giving the URL. Click OK. You can try this going through some sample websites just to explore the web data source option in real time. Uh, to whichever web content you want to do a visualization, you can give that URL with proper authentication and you can load the data. In this navigator window, I can see all the tables from that URL. If you want to see the table view, we can click here table view and see the table view. Or if you want to navigate and see the web view, even we can navigate the web view and see how it is in the front end. See the suggested tables are two, the table one, web view is this. If you see the data in the table view, we can see the table data. See, we can rename the column names, everything in the transform mode. And based on your data understanding, you can do your visualization. If I click table two, the table two looks like this, with pre uh, like default column names. And this is the data loading from that web URL. Let me load the, both the tables. Click load. Let us give a time. Uh, to evaluate that content and load it into my Power BI desktop. And Power BI will try to auto detect the relationship if there is ex existing and update the model. See default table names, which we have seen when we have given the URL, table one and table two. You can go to transform data directly when you select the web URL or else you can load and go to transform data and change it. See. It couldn't find any relationship, that's fine. We can go to transform data and you can update the table names and column names. You can update in the report view, but it's a good practice to update the column names which you want to uh, reflect in all your reports. So it's a good practice to update the table names, column names, few things in the transform mode itself. So we can, based on the data understanding, because this is just sample sample URL, you can update your column names by just double clicking amount description full price AUD price. Sale price, that's up to you. And um, we are not updating everything. Games. After giving all your changes, you can click on close and apply, which will reflect in the report. I have updated only table one and updated few columns of the table one, which we can see this. See here. See, we have updated the table one, which top, top games, and we have updated few columns, full price, sale price, description, amount, everything. And even here, you can update the data. I mean, you can update the column names. In the data view, you can view the table contents. I'm selecting the top games, and I can see the data here, and I can rename the column names from the data view as well. Um, deleting the column four and putting only AUD price. And I'm 
renaming the column six. Name. Latest price. Let us check in the report view whether the column name latest price is reflecting. Yes. So we can update the column names and table names. Ideally, the structure of the table be loaded in the data view or in the transform view. Now the data is ready. If you want to cleanse the data, you can cleanse the data and start visualization. Thank you.